But first, we're going to examine the tragedy in Wisconsin. Billy Hallowell is the faith editor of The Blaze, and he joins me right now via Skype. Thank you, Billy, so much for joining me. Uh, it's good to talk with you here. We are still learning about everything that happened with Wisconsin. We're still getting the details. What do we know thus far about this, uh, this alleged gunman? So we know that Wade Page was in the Army for about six years in the 1990s, in the late 1990s. We know that um, he allegedly had an attachment to um, some white supremacist groups. We know that he was in at least two uh, heavy metal bands, which is sort of odd, uh, but <laughs> heavy metal bands that embraced white supremacist ideologies. And so right now we're, we're trying to piece together who this man is, what was motivating him, which to this point we really don't know what it was that caused him to go into that temple and uh, murder six people. Yeah, it's... Uh... This this all seems so. Uh, and, and we don't have a motive. We don't. It's kind of odd that he's you know he was in two metal bands here. There's. I, I wonder if if did he think Billy that they were somehow that they did he confuse what he didn't apparently know what Sikhs were. Did he think that they were Muslim? Well, this is one of the questions, and this is actually a very common um, issue that this community has faced. They grow their beards very long, they don't cut their hair, they wear turbans, and people who don't really know who they are assume that they might be Muslims. And so since 9-11, this group has faced attacks as a result of that you know, being misconstrued for Muslims. So we don't know if that's the case, but there has been a lot of chatter about the possibility that he thought he was actually entering a mosque and potentially uh, murdering Muslims. How many criminal acts have been committed as of late? Do we know against the Sikh community since, you know, apparently there is the potential to confuse them with Islam? Absolutely. There, there are many anecdotal examples, but we know that the Sikh coalition, which actually monitors this, they have found about 700 individuals since 9-11. Wow. Uh, who have gone and looked for legal help. So that's only the 700 who reported the crime. There were many more um, probably who have not reported the crimes against them. And this latest incident is just the, the latest in the string of those crimes. Now, they, they held the press conference today, uh, and obviously uh, he's, uh, he was... He was, he was killed on scene when officers stormed in. I read that one officer, uh, he was the one who was hit. He was shot nine times. And as his uh, fellow officers arrived on the scene, he apparently just waved them forward and said, you need to help the people ignore me right now. Is that, I mean, is that just a, you know, an anecdotal story that I heard? Or is that, is that how it went down? Do you know? Yes, you know, that, that is sort of how it went down. And if you were watching that press conference, you would have seen uh, the, the chief of police say that the actions that he took and that the other officers took actually saved more lives. Um, and so there's a lot of bravery there to be, to be spoken about. But this is a very complicated issue. I think we're going to see the details stream out um, over the, the coming days as we learn what it was that really motivated him to go in and do this. Right. Last quick question for you, Billy. I noticed that the local law enforcement was quick to call this an act of domestic terrorism. What do you make of that categorization? Do you think it fits that label from everything that you know thus far? Well, I'm assuming that they know much more than they're sharing, obviously, at this point. And so I assume that they know that there is some sort of hate crime. There's a motivation that was based upon the factors we were just speaking about, that this was a Sikh community or he thought it was a Muslim community, potentially. So I'm assuming that they're operating under that guise and that the label um, is thus based on uh, the appropriate measures that they're not sharing with us yet. Right, right. Billy, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it.